Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Evil Democracy 1932. This is a, it's a political simulator being developed by Hamsters Gaming, who is sponsoring this video. Thank you very much, Hamsters Gaming. Uh, so these guys um, also made things like Evil Bank Manager, and they also made uh, Generals and Rulers. I've played all these things on the channel before. Uh, they all have this sort of historical strategy kind of thing. And and in this, in this one, uh, there's a few different ways of playing it, but basically we are a political party of... Uh, Germany, 1932, or maybe we're in in uh, in Great Britain, maybe we're in France, and depending on what we're going to be doing is we have a different goal. But essentially, we're just going to be a political party and trying to gain the vote, trying to win the vote, depending on who you pick. Um, the goal of Germany's is to stop the Nazis from taking over. The goal from Great Britain is to stop this... Um, this idea of appeasement and try to take over so that you don't have to deal with that. And then France is basically just stability and resilience, whatever. You basically just win the vote uh, whenever that time comes. 450 turns, 250 turns, 300 turns. Um, we're going to go to Germany, of course. And we're going to choose one of the real existing parties that were around at the time. Um, they all have different... Uh, well, the most important thing, we got party supporters and financing. Our goal is to be number one by the vote so we get voted in. Um, you can see the Social Democratic Party of Germany right now is is high on the list. They've got the vote, they've got the supporters, they got the money. Um, they are a easy win basically. And as you go down the list, it gets a little more difficult. Uh, they also, as you can see, have have a um, a dogma or a a um, political point of view. Now, if you you're as we go into here, we'll be choosing new dogmas and new um, disciplines. What do you call it? What you know, you know, ideas. And we want to make sure we keep our voters. Without losing too many, but gaining more. You know, that kind of idea. Um, we're going to go with... Um, we may just take the German... I'm actually, maybe, go, maybe we'll go with the steel helmets here. Because it's not, like, super easy. But we got a little bit of cash. We can start with 2.5 million here. We're going to need to go and hire... We'll, we'll have a newspaper of our own, you know. And we'll hire some folks to go out and print some articles and toss some leaflets around, you know. And, and we'll hire some little kids to go give papers to people and tell them how, um, how great we are. So, all right, welcome to my office. Now, I don't know why we have a picture of France behind me. Uh, maybe we have big ideas. But um, we have 900,000 voters at the moment. Our goal is to have more than that, obviously. We haven't really here yet because we can't. It's turn one. Uh, we've got sponsors, which gives me cash. We've got a staff, which I don't have anything of yet. We have a budget of 2.5 million, and I'm getting 283 grand per turn coming in right now. Uh, all most of this stuff will show up next turn once we get things going. But uh, my first job, first... Um, first order of business is uh, to hire a uh, a newspaper man. Newspapers are the th the thing around here. So we got Franz over here. Franz is our um our freebie. So we're gonna toss him onto the newspaper, and he's going to in basically help my newspapers run and get more uh, effect out of them. So we throw him in there, and he will hopefully get the job done. Uh, we also need to hire some journalists. So we're gonna come in here and hire and find some journalists. Uh, we'll get like six of them here. And we need people that know how to run a newspaper. So we've got Dirk here is a level 10, so he's very good. We're going to bring higher. We'll hire Dirk. We'll hire uh, Adam as well. And we're going to bring uh, Peter the... What's a name? Peter the Leaflet Man also. And I'm only going to bring Wolfgang in here because he knows how to investigate. So we'll bring him also. And then uh, we're going to go over here to our team and put him in, in place. So remember we had someone that was good at leaflets, which was... I think was you, right, uh, Peter? Peter with a name. You are now in charge of my leaflets. So basically, he just gives me a boost. As we as we throw leaflets around, we'll see this in a moment. He'll go in and do that job. Um, we need newspaper people, which was... You're a 10. Yeah, yep. That's you. And you're a 10 as well. Who's good at investigating? You're pretty good. So, uh, yeah, you go there. Wolfgang, I have a task for you. So, you are good at investigating. We also need someone maybe to do a little bit of, of um, interviews, but you're not good at that. We'll have someone else do that. Let's go find some compromising materials on... You know, play a little dirty. We'll go mess with the um, these guys, these center right guys, or the center German center party. I think you were. Let's go. Let's go do some compromise material. I'm assuming they're going to be kind of close to what we are. I'm not sure if that matters, but we're going to go send them in there. He's going to he's going to get some articles so we can print our paper and, and tell people how terrible they are. Okay, um, we can print some newspapers as soon as we get some articles to add to it, which we don't have anything yet. Uh, once we get once he's his job, I maybe we should hire a couple more people actually. I want someone, well, we can bring uh, Schultz over here. He can go interview me. I'm going to hire... You can see it costs me money to hire these journalists. There we go. Thomas and Dirk. Wait, Dirk, didn't I already hire you? 
you guys are all very good at this. I'm going to hire you in here and have you do some jobs. So it all makes sense here in a minute. But right now they're just they're doing the, the tasks. So we've got uh, Thomas, who's a good investigator. Oh, he's my interviewer. Thomas, come interview uh, old Franz here and tell the world how great he is. Um, Schultz, let's do some slander on um, on these guys. And I want Dirk. Compromising materials on... We can't mess with the big guys yet, I don't think. But we can mess with... Yeah, you know what? Let's go, go for those guys. Give us some articles to write. Okay. Now we can open more spots uh, up here as as far as our... Um, our uh, team, more more um, newspaper people if we wanted to. Uh, we can have more leaders as well. He's running the newspaper. We can have people that help with strikes and more spots. If somebody helps us get sponsors, we can bring a treasurer in who helps us get some money. Uh, these guys are expensive. 1.25 million um, to help us with the treasury. Someone help with elections. Let's pass the turn though and uh, get ourselves a dogma. So we have a list of dogmas that we can choose. Now, each one of these is going to give us a, a plus and a minus. So we can say, <laughs> okay. we can say we're the superior race. This will be our dogma. Um, oh my! Um, so there's a positive. Voters will like this because it's a far right, and we are a right leaning one. So the voters will like it. However, we're going to lose some fo some votes from our regular folks who are not all about that. Um, their freedom of expression, which is a center left thing, this will raise the status of our party leaders. Um, but it's also going to help. Our staff will be increased. We can do some reformism. The cost for protests goes down, which would be nice. Um, one of our parameters of our party leaders has gone, has dec will decrease if we do this thing. It takes us 40 turns to do that dogma. we got free health care. Uh, attract some voters in there. Costs us more money. Uh, we have the mandatory labor. Salaries of headquarters workers are decreased. Staff is prepared to put its sweat, blood, and tears into the party's cause. I like it. Losing support from our sponsors, with some from which is money. Um, you know what? Um, we need votes, right? This one gets votes. It costs more money. I'm not sure. That we got money. You know what? Free health. That's not really our thing, though, is it? Let's go with the. Um, let's see. That's expensive. It raises our status of our leaders. Might be a good idea. You know, let's do the reformism because that's going to give us cheap protests that will help in the long run. Yeah, yeah. So in 40 turns, we can get that done. Uh, now we got to print our newspaper, which we don't really have anything in here yet. So we're not going to do that yet. Let's go away. All right, so we'll give a reporting assignment. Oh, yeah, it's going through tutorial things. We've already got that covered, though. Um, as far as map goes, we can see here... Um, oh, one thing I didn't do, actually. Let me go back to here and go to my staff. So we got we got to hire some campaigners, some promoters. These are the guys that go around, the kids that go around handing out the leaflets. Or we got some activists, you know, folks to go around and rough up some people. Some people. You know, it's... It's a rough time, okay? Um, <laughs> so things are a little dirty out there. Uh, we're going to hire a little bit of everybody, everybody here. We're going to bring in just like, you can see you guys are expensive. We can hire 900 agitators for 2.25 thousand. Yeah, um, 225 thousand, that's a lot. Something like, maybe that. And we'll bring in some kids to go hand out the newspapers. We need to bring in like 800 of them. And we'll bring in some activists. Something like that. Okay, just a few. They got quite a bit of staff now. Uh, let's go send them out there and get some work done. So we're going to go to our agitators. And we can tell them basically where we want them to go. Um, right now we have zero everywhere. I'm going to send I'm gonna send all of them out. we got 700 to go out. They're all going to go equally to everywhere. I think it's fine. Now let's send them out. So you can see we've got them out there. And hopefully things will start looking our way. we got 912,000 voters. Hopefully things will go up. We'll see our name on this list. Oh, that's agitators. I have 5.8 thousand agitators. I have 700. Okay, okay. I see how it is. Uh, activists. We need that as well. We've got... We're going to send all of them out. We've got 2,000 of them. And we're going to send them... Um, yeah, proportionally to the voters. Makes sense. There we go. Okay. Someone... In total number... Are we in first... Oh, no one else has any more... Um, activists? All right, no one has any. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't do that yet. Uh, and there's our sponsors, which is money. Got 150 turns, 148 turns until we get uh, uh, voted in. So we were actually in fifth place as far as voters go, just behind the center, German Center Party. I'm going to print that newspaper and tell them how terrible those guys are, uh, and then maybe we can pass pass up the German Center Party. I think that's I think that's our that's our goal. I think. Okay, let's pass turn.
I really want to print a new newspaper, but I'm not done. My journalists aren't done yet. So we need to make sure they are... Where are they at? Uh, leader. Nope, nope. I can forget which button. Journalists. Nope, nope. Staff? No. Editorial team, of course. Um, so until this is done... I, can't, I mean, I can print a paper, but it doesn't do me any good. We need something to say, you know, how great we are, and, and we have no articles to print, so we're not going to do that yet. Uh, let's go next turn. We'll pass a couple turns here. The tutorial wants me to hire some more journalists and some re uh, reporting assignments. I could actually go ahead and probably do this. This is cheap. I'm going to go ahead and open this slot up. It's only 500. It's... That was 500,000, wasn't it? Uh, that was expensive. No, that was 500, wasn't it? That one's expensive. I'm going to hire one more guy here, though. Anybody good at... Oh, you're terrible. I want somebody that's good at newspapers. Thomas. Go man the uh, newspaper slot. There you go, buddy. And uh, we'll get we'll just keep on these newspapers as soon as we can get them. Pass some turns. Another leader to a post. Oh, you want me to hire another person? I only have 1.6 million anymore. I'm getting how much per term? I'm only getting 4,000 per term. We could hire somebody to go do a treasurer. They're expensive. 1.25 for these guys. Let's hire a treasurer. Who are you? Friedrich. You're hired. I'm putting you there. So you're going to give me 129000 per turn just because you're there. So yeah, it jumped up a lot. So that was actually, I think, a pretty good move. Uh, our voters are going down, um, which isn't what we want. How are we doing here? We have... Is that not done yet? Let's take a look. Print some newspapers. Uh, okay, okay. Um, not that yet. Not yet. I'm going to go back back over here. Let's go to the newspapers. Do we have any articles to add to this? We do, we do. We got a glorification of our leader. Add that in there. Um, compromise. We're going to do everything. We can do three things Three things for this one and then things for the next one. I think we're going to go with... Um, we want to tell how bad the German center party is. And then we'll go... The next one's going to be about how terrible those guys are. Okay. That's all the articles I forgot. So that'll work. And then we're going to print, um, how much money do we have here? We can do 50,000 newspapers and 100,000 leaflets. This is going to be pretty cheap. 200 grand to do this. We've got it. Our promoters will go do that. The kids with the newspapers, they'll go, they'll go do it. Um, we will hopefully, we'll get a bonus to our leader. We'll hopefully take some money away from the, uh, the Social Democratic Party, which has a lot of cash. And we'll hopefully hurt the German Center Party also. He wants me to do that. He wants optimal. Yeah, we'll do optimal. Sure, sure. And print. Okay, did it do it? Yeah, that one. Okay, I think it did it. <laughs> uh, next turn. Okay, there we go. So it's out printing. I got myself. A, um, I don't know why I'm getting these these achievements again. Um, okay, so it's it's got five. It's um. In use for five turns, basically. The dogma has still got 35 turns to go. And we've got old Friedrich here making loads of cash. And, um... Oh, yeah, he's at 104 now. Nice, nice. We printed things on you and, you and people like it. Um... Yeah, these guys are all doing their job. Perfect. How are we looking as far as, um... The vote? Do we know? Um... We're not in last. We're in... Well, we're in last on that list, anyway. So let's go ahead and pass, um... A couple turns here, I think. See if we, that newspaper does this any good. I think maybe it takes that long for it to go out. My budget is going up. Now, one thing, other thing I can do, a big thing that I can do that will really help us out a lot is we can go and do some protests. We can do some protests or some um, demonstration strikes and protests. These are all going to be a big boost no matter how we do it. And there's different portions of the state that we can do it in, north, south, west, or east. And these are all help us out in certain ways, whether it gives us, you know, um, voters or sponsors or just costs lots of money. Uh, we are short by a lot of money for all these things. These are very, 10 million for our protests in the north. Um, we can hire a leader, though, that will go and assist in this. Um, back over here. A, um, this one. Or the sponsor one helps bring money in, or elections will help just uh, so later to falsify the results of the elections. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Um, we got one more day, I think, until that print is out. Okay, now we're on the next article, I think. Let's go ahead and influence on voters. 
and um, yeah, make me better. Okay, keep it keep it going. I think we may actually go. Yeah, you know it's probably fine. We're making we're still making a lot of cash, and we've got a lot of those things going out. Yeah, yeah well it's fine. We'll do that. Uh, and then we're gonna go and I'm gonna switch these guys around a little bit. It's probably good for you to keep that interview going. But maybe we should work on we can hire a couple more real quick actually. That might be best. Let's get let's get everyone working here. I need to invest. Ooh, look at Thomas. Eleven. I think I've seen eleven before. So Thomas, you're gonna go investigate, and then we'll have Udo do uh, something else. All right, let's investigate. We can go with, um, what's one way to do? Yeah, we want to we want to do some slander against, I think these guys, the Communist Party. And then you are very good at that kind of thing. So let's go slander. Um, let's slander these guys again. Okay. Pass some turns. We got a long time till something. So the the election, but we can see voters is going down. It's plummeting. <laughs> it's plummeting. It's going down so much. Um, give me some more newspapers. Eight twenty. We're losing. Oh, we just pass, got passed by the National People's Party. It's going down. It's going down. Um, maybe we. Need, oh, we know what we need. You know what we need. We need some more agitators. We need some more of this. Um, let's hire some campaigners. How much you guys cost? I'm buying. I'm bringing a bunch of you in. I want like that many. Okay, three thousand EU, and I need some. I don't know if I need activists. I do need agitators though, because we can send them out and go out here. Um, agitators. Yeah, this is what we need. Man, they have twenty-eight thousand. Okay. Just send them out to um, whoever has the lowest uh, have the lowest percentage of our voters. Yeah, send them out to where we are, where no one likes us, I guess. Okay. That'll help us out a little bit. How many does that give us? Like, we only have 2,000 there. I think we're going to be spending the rest of my money on that. And let's see if that helps us out any. It's going 8, 8 36,000. It's going down. They're going down. Um, we can. How much we need? We need a, a lot of money. One point five for a demonstration. Um, our next article here in two days. We'll do another article. Okay, we just spent a lot of money on newspaper. Um, let's go with a. Let's hurt these guys. Take their money away. Influence on voters. Yep. There we go. Do some of that. How many words can I do? I do, do them all. I'm not sure if it works that way, but... I <laughs> do them all. Okay. Okay. Print. Okay. Oh, we went up. Then we went back down. All right, um, let me go. How much we got? We got 500. Let me go and hire a bit more of these. There's all our money for what? For 2,000? You're hired? Now get out there and yell at people. Um, just send them out equally. You know what? Just send them out. Okay, let's see if that makes an effect. It's going up. Oh, we're on the rise. Okay, excellent. Excellent. We're getting some votes. Ooh, that was a big that was a big boost. Was that um a newspaper that just went out? It did. Newspaper just went out, so we got a big boost there. There we go. Sponsor is something that's not going anywhere. We need more um money coming in. Our budget is is okay, but we're not getting much money per turn cuz we're spending money on I guess on people. It is, oops, it is slowly going up. Okay, our dogma is in, so we've got this, um, what did we pick? I don't remember what it was, but, um, that one is, is in, which I think made protests cheaper, I think. Was it this one? I don't remember. Um, whatever, we've got new to choose from. So we can go with religious freedom. Attracts voters. This again takes, you know, 50, takes 30 turns. And will hurt one of our junior leaders. 
We can go with protection of traditional religion, which is our ideology, which can attract some sponsors, which gives us, you know, people like us that will give us more cash. Uh, we'll start losing support from regular voters, though, if we do that one. Because that's, what a terrible idea, you know. Um, let's see. Mandatory labor. We saw them before. Collective ownership. Power to the lower class. Protests go down. Losing support. I think we need to go with... Yeah, we'll take religious freedom. That'll give us uh, um, more uh, more votes. Yeah. Okay. Newspaper? You printing? Okay. I may actually lower you just a little bit to down like a... Like, I probably need you, but... Let's just do that so we don't spend all the money. Okay, we're slowly on the rise. We're still nowhere near the top. But we can see how our votes are all facing out here amongst everyone. I don't know how we've... I'm not sure I have negative vote. I guess that's per turn. I mean, it went down. What's going on with Westphalia? What happened? We've got votes there. Votes from supporters. 10.5. All right. We're going back down again. Because everyone else is bringing out, keeps popping these guys out. Uh, yeah, we want to go with, uh, you know, I'll go back to it. It's fine. It's fine. Just print out what we got here, and uh, and let's. Oh, there we go. Up to nine hundred thousand. We're almost back where we started. I'm am not near the top anywhere. But uh, I suppose some electric. We got. We don't see that yet. Well, you know, not easy being a, you know, running for election in nineteen thirty two Germany. Um, anyway, I think this pretty well shows off the game. Uh, again, this is by Hampshire's Gaming. It's over on Steam, uh, in early access at the moment. And I'll, uh, I'll have links and all that stuff below, of course. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.